This is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Winebow. Today we're going to talk about a Riesling, because we should always talk about Riesling. Riesling is a fabulous grape that doesn't get enough respect in the greater world of wine. It's a great food wine. It comes in so many different styles. Today we're going to talk about a dry style from Austria, from a producer named Prager. And uh, Prager has long since been one of the most respected producers in the Wachau, which is one of the regions in Austria, on the Danube River west of Vienna. This is a particular single vineyard called Steinriegel, and it's west of the village of Weissenkirchen. Um, this is a really unique place because um, it's rare to find a calcareous hard rock soil in a steep, in a steep cliff in the Wachau, and that's what's going on in Steinriegel. Is it's calcareous and marble, so limestone and marble mixed together, which give you a very different kind of Riesling than nearby in other kinds of rocks. I know that's sort of geeky, but it's just, just think about it. Where it grows makes it different. This is a 2019 vintage. It sees nothing but stainless steel aging, um, so we, we expect this wine to have lots of bright fruit and beautiful uh, floral expressions and things like that. So let's find out what it's like and go from there very bright and vibrant. Uh, the first part of the nose is a mix of both herbal flowers and fruit. So it's, uh, or a trio instead of both. So it's, um, there's a, a fresh green herb, um, something like parsley or chervil, alongside of lime and uh, lime zest. And then um, this uh, definitive rocky, chalky minerality in the nose, it's almost salty actually. There's unripe peach, um, green apple with the skin on. Uh, I would say there's like somewhere between kumquat and tangerine. It's this really tart orange citrus sort of aroma profile. And then behind that um, comes a, a, a note of the lees sort of a cross between bread dough and just the smell of a yeast packet being opened. Super inviting. It smells really crisp. It's actually making my mouth water just smelling it. And that, now that it's opened a little bit more, the, the lime is actually moving in towards this really exotic key lime kind of uh, aroma profile. Well, let's taste it and see how it matches up. Absolutely perfect Riesling. Cleansing, mouth watering, but rich in texture. There's so much. Um, going on in the way it interacts with the, the your tongue and the gums of your teeth really sticks to them. It's really, really intriguing wine. Um, so, uh, flavor is very similar. Starts off with a blast of lime. Um, from the lime, it then goes into that uh, sort of kumquat, then comes back into the green apple. Uh, that salty minerality is very clear on the palate, um, somewhere between chalk and the sea air kind of concept. Uh, the parsley is there. Um, and um, finally, after all of that starts to, to subside, we get to that yeasty note um, that is uh, very akin to um, toast. So if you're watching this, you're like, I don't know if I really like Riesling. This is a great example to try. If you know you already like Sauvignon Blanc, this wine is perfect for you. It's zippy like Sauvignon Blanc. It's a little bit herbal like Sauvignon Blanc. It's unoaked like most Sauvignon Blanc and crisp and refreshing. Uh, give it a whirl um, because if you haven't had dry Riesling, then you really haven't experienced the gamut of Riesling yet, and you can't make a decision on one style of wine. Prager 2019 Steinriegel is definitely one to look for. I love this wine. I think you will too.